All right, we are back on This Week in Buys and Sports on 101.5 UMFM. Tell the vast listening audience on, uh, on the radio and on Bison's TV your name, uh, what uh, swimming disciplines you swim, okay. how many years you've been swimming, and if you have a favorite swimmer when you were growing up. Okay, so my name is Alex Shogolev. Shogolev! Yeah, Shogolev. <laughs> I've been swimming for about nine years. Uh, my main event is 100 meter freestyle. And uh, idols? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go for Alex Popov. He's a Russian uh, freestyler. Was a Russian freestyler. Oh, I remember that name. Yeah. He was really good. Yeah, he was. Um, what, what are the questions? Oh, why don't you start your name and what you swim and uh, uh, how many years you've been swimming and uh, if you had a favorite swimmer when you were growing up? So, my name is Kelsey Wog. Wog! I've been swimming for a while and I swim breaststroke and um, I never really had like an idol or looked up to somebody much. I just did whatever. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know, you did whatever pretty good because you have been excellent so far this summer 2016. We'll get back to you, Kelsey, in a second. Alex Shugalov, mm -hmm. uh, you were out in Calgary last year. You know, yeah. Good for you. We, we like Calgary, but we like University of Manitoba better. Uh, why did you come back from the dinos after a year uh, swimming out there? Okay, so uh, basically the training has been uh, very different here and uh, over there as well. Over there uh, they were m more focused uh, towards the 200 meters and that's something I, I was not interested in. Uh, so I just came back. Um, I've been doing, uh, I've been swimming with Bisons for three years before so I know what the program is all about and um, I'm just looking forward to this season. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you you know you alluded to that the junior uh, bison program you swam with before. Just talk about how that kind of helped you to kind of get into the, the the senior level. Yeah, so basically I uh, I swam for the junior bison uh, team and um, I, I went to high school, uh, Vincent Massey and uh, basically I swam for the varsity team. It was a varsity team. Um, feeling it wasn't uh, I, I wasn't like technically swimming for the yeah. varsity team but you you know what it's all about and um, that just made me uh, think like okay this is what I want well yeah and now you got coach Dylan uh, Perron right? oh that's correct yeah, yeah. so he, he was swimming and then while well, you were swimming at, this, mm -hmm. at the time right yeah and Dylan and I go way back um, he, he obviously he's very experienced in swimming and um, I'm just happy to have him around just uh, like letting us know where we can uh, fix up a, a few things in our stroke and uh, yeah th thanks to him <laughs> yeah well you know you know you just did you called Dylan old but it's all good it's all good that's that's fine enough he, he, he'll take it he's an old man now anyways he's retired right so Kelsey come over a second what is going on with your life here you've had an insane summer can you explain a bit about what you know what you've done and accomplished uh, this summer well this summer I went to Canadian swimming championships where I won two golds and a silver and then I went to junior Pan Pacific championships and got a silver and some bronze as well there so it was pretty exciting that's pretty it's pretty crazy i mean you're being very modest here and, and also you did very well at the canadian trials before that to, to get to the olympics and now you're you made your first senior national team yeah i'm pretty excited about that it's going to be a change it's going to be something different and i'm a little bit nervous for it but it'll what, be fun what is the event and, and when did you find out and how surprised were you um, I actually got an email on my birthday, so it there was you a go. Good, good birthday. <laughs> it was a great birthday surprise, and um, I will be swimming the 200 meter breaststroke there. At, w at the event is um, World Short Course Championships, and that's in Windsor. It's yeah. the first time they ha have it in Canada, so you don't have to go that far away. It's kind of cool, and that's at the end of the uh, year. It's um, December 3rd to 12th, somewhere in there. Yeah, something like that. Well, you can get all the details at gobisons.ca. Before we're done, lastly, we're with Alex Shogoloff and uh, Kelsey Wog, Bison Swimmer Recruits. So this is your first year, you know, swimming from Manitoba at the senior level. Sort of your goals, expectations for this year, Alex, and then Kelsey. Okay, so uh, CIs obviously want to be a top three, maybe top two even. Maybe even go for the go gold. Go for the gold, why you know? not? Yeah, and CIs as well, just go for the gold. Um, we have a strong team. Um, 
obviously, I think we, we have uh, more swim swimmers this year than last year. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a strong team going into uh, Can West. And uh, yeah, we have to swim fast in the morning and show them at night. So there there you go. Doing. I have no, uh, I, I know you're going to do very well, Alex. And congratulations on coming on the Bisons. Uh, Kelsey, your thoughts for goals, expectations this year? Um, some goals for myself are just to get on the podium at the CIS Championships and just have fun and enjoy it. And that's just all that I want to do is just enjoy it because I think that's like the first thing you have to do. I think that's a pretty good goal. You're 18, you're 19, right? 19. Yeah, you guys got lots of time. Enjoy yeah. it. Have some fun there. Bison swimming. And I think you started a varsity swim meet at the end of October. I believe it's a Pan Am pool, the St. James yeah. Invitational. So that'll be your first one swimming with the Bison varsity team, which is awesome. Alex Strugolev, uh, Kelsey Wog, congratulations on a great summer, a great last year. And uh, welcome to the Bison uh, swim team. And we'll talk uh, uh, throughout your hopefully five-year career here at University of Manitoba, and you're listening and watching Bison's TV and This Week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM.